Assalamu alaikum my students here is Usama Tahir from Learn English with Usama Tahir and today my topic on which I'm making this video is origin of language when and how language was initiated this is the question in this presentation I have raised okay we use language every society uses language in every country we have multiple languages we have numberless languages all around the globe do you have any idea who started using language first, how language was started, when language was started and what were the sources that made it possible to use the language by humans? I mean, I am talking here about the human languages. So we have multiple ideas about how language was initiated and we will discuss them later on but first we need to find out together how and when language was started at first place. I mean, when this word was started, what was the code that people used to convey their message at the very early stage of humanization, of civilization, and how and when language was started? I mean, the formal language or you can say only the spoken language because written language was started after a long time of spoken language. So how people used to speak, how and when, how human beings started using language, how do they starting, what were the needs uh, that they needed to fulfill so they used language as a result and what were the needs made them to learn languages, what were those needs, maybe the needs of hunger, need to earn, need to cooperate with each other, need to stay, uh, I mean safe there could be multiple reasons and what were the reasons what were the needs uh, you need to uh, think about it and next one is how old ancestors of ours fulfilled their daily life needs by using language what was the nature of their language what were the features in their language uh, this is the question what is the origin of language it is divine or socially acquired okay we have the hearing ability and we have the speaking ability okay like we have vocal organs, we have speech organs according to it. Like we have teeth, mouth, vocal tract, everything that is fit for the language. So do you think that is divine, that is God gifted or it is socially acquired? That we acquire language or sometimes we can say it is God gifted because a uh, human has language acquisition device by Noam Chomsky claims that human has language acquisition device and he learns language without any hurdle because he has the human capacity human has the capacity to learn the language so this is the question that whether it is divine or socially acquired so these are a few questions and we have multiple theories against them multiple speculations lack of record or history we have lack of record and history about the language origin we have few speculations we have few assumptions uh, to make that language must have come across with this source, maybe with this source and maybe not with this source but this one. So we have speculations, we haven't have the proper knowledge how the language was started. Speculation refers to the formation of theory without evidence. We have no proper evidence of the origin of the language. So this is the basic point, you need to understand the things we are going to learn here are just the speculations, assumptions and not the full-fledged result. Due to lack of historical records, we have multiple speculation about the origin of language. Let's study them in detail. Language is believed to come across from different sources, the divine source. The first uh, source, the divine source, this theory says language has come down to us through divine source, I mean come down to us, come down to human beings uh, from God, which is God gifted. This is divine source means uh, for example, from Christian gods or from Saraswati, okay, or according to one view, God created Adam and whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof, as it is said in Bible. So, according to this reference, we can conclude that language uh, came to us through a divine source and it has religious roots in every religion. So, this is one speculation or assumption. Hindu believes language to be come down to us from Brahma. So, in Hinduism, the divine source is different, in Christianity it is different. Yet, no positive results were made to verify if it's true or just speculation. So, there are no positive outcomes or there is no 
verification of this source. Basic assumption of the theory is if a human infant allowed to grow up without hearing any language, he or she would end up speaking original God-given language. But according to different experiments, this didn't happen. They spoke about they spoke different languages, but not the God-given original language. So this divine source is not applicable or somehow is not verified in that scenario. Next is the natural sound sources. Okay. According to natural sound source theories, we have multiple speculations about how language was started with the help of natural sounds and vibrations. In this universe, in this world, we have multiple sounds. We have sounds of water, of air, uh, of pain, of laughter. Every sound has its meaning. So, it is believed that humans learn language by listening to these sounds and associating different meanings with such sounds. For example, you associate bow wow sound with dog and poo poo with a bird and cow cow with a bird. So in this example, you can say that you are using natural sounds to form or formulate your language. And there are different sources of natural sound sources and there are different natural sound sources we will uh, discuss later on. So first of all, for all you need to understand the human learning is depending on the natural sounds according to this uh, natural sound sources first of all theories under natural sound sources are the bow wow theory the poo poo theory the yu hi hu theory and the lala theory we will discuss them one by one the bow wow theory okay According to this theory, language began when our ancestors started imitating the natural sounds around them. The first speech was on a metropoic marked by echoic words such as moo, meow, splash, cuckoo and bang. So language was believed to be initiated by the imitation of natural sounds by human beings such as meow, splash, the sound of the water, cuckoo, the sound of the bird and bang, the sound of blast. So in English language, we have multiple natural imitating words, natural sound imitating words. So it is believed that human learned language through the sounds around them. What's wrong with this theory? Relative few words are onomatopoeic and these words vary from one language to another. For instance, a dog's bark is heard at ow ow in Brazil, ham ham in Albania and wang wang in China. In addition, many onomatopoeic words of recent origin are not all derived from natural sounds. So, this theory is not as strong uh, to be believed uh, to believe to be true, because in every language we have different sounds to associate with things. So, this theory is not applicable in all the situations. Much as we create words to imitate actual sounds, such as bow wow for a dog's bark or chew for a sneeze. This theory suggests language formed from imitation of sound which formed into words. So in the let's go to the past and we have multiple sounds around them and we do not language and we just uh, heard to these sounds and we made language. Can you believe it? And if it's true, then why every language has different sounds? Why every language has different on onomatopoeic? I mean the words imitating natural sound which are different. So how this theory would be would be verified? If not all the languages have these similar sounds. So this is the question. The poo poo theory. The idea that speech comes from the automatic vocal responses to pain, fear, surprise or other emotions. In this theory, we believe that language was started with the sounds made by human being in the moments of pain, fear, surprise or other emotions. So they started associating these sounds with these emotions. A laugh, a shriek, a gasp. But plenty of animals make these kind of sounds too and they didn't end up with language. So how would this theory be verified? If human have the capacity to make such sounds and human does also, human do also, then why don't they have language and you have? So this theory can't be proved right because of this situation. This theory calls their speech begin with interjection, spontaneous cries of pain, ouch, from such uh, sounds like ouch, oh, and other emotions, yaba, dabado. So this theory holds their speech begin with interjection. If it is true, then why not we have multiple and most of the interjections in like language and English? We have very few. If it's if it is said to be true, then we must have a lot of interjections now. 
we don't have it here in English or even in Urdu whenever in English. Uh, I mean, according to this theory, the human learned language by using the sounds that was uttered in the feeling of pain, grief, something like that. Then why don't we have enough material of it? What's wrong with this theory? No language contains very many interjections. I have already explained and Crystal points out the clicks, intake of breath and other noises which are used in this web your little relationship to the vowels and consonant found in phonology. The you, he, who theory. According to this theory, language evolved from the grunts, groans and snores evoked by heavy physical labor. This theory says that human, when human worked hard, he made different sounds out of tiredness and this these sounds were associated with different signals and the language was started. Okay, when someone say, ah, I'm doing some work and get gets tired. So it signifies that he or she is tired. So according to these groans and snorts evoked by heavy physical labor made the language. This is the point. What's wrong with this theory? Though this notion many account for some of the rhythmic features of the language and it does not go far in explaining where words come from. So it has no logical reason. You he ho, if you have ever lifted anything heavy, you might have let out a groan or other kind of sound. This theory claims language came from such sounds we made while doing hard work. So this theory believed uh, that language was started by uttering such sounds that we utter doing hard work. The Lala theory. Lala theory, also called the sing song theory, is the name of one of the speculative theories about the origin of language. This theory claims that speech originated in song play, laughter, and other aspects of romantic side of life. Okay. Uh, it also argues some of our first words were long and musical rather than short runs some theories suppose we started with. According to this theory that language was started with the playful sounds with the music, melody, and the romantic side of life. When there was no language, people must have few signals, sounds, or the gestures to show love. So, according to this theory, language was started according uh, due to such laughter, play sounds, and playful and laughing sounds. And language was started with the romantic side of human. human. So this is the Lala theory. This theory thinks language developed out of sounds. Early human made by playing and wordless singing when they don't have words, but they have wordless singing, they used to sing and convey their message. So this theory says that language was started with these sounds. Physiological adaptation source. Okay. Humans are the only creatures that possesses physical features for speech. Human teeth, the human brain is that realized. I mean, we have teeth, we have speech organs like teeth, lips, nose. We have human brain. All of these things are physiological adaptation source. No any other creature have all of these things at the same time to use the language. So it is believed that having physiological adaptation, we can use language and language was initiated. You can pause the video and uh, you can read it. Um, I don't uh, find any need to read the whole passage here. Human brain and literalization. Human brain is responsible for the origin of language because human brain has the capacity to learn the language and has the capacity to use a language like speaking or anything like that. Human brain is literalized means divided into two hemispheres for the performance of relevant tasks as, as assigned to it. Usually left hemisphere is responsible for motor movements especially involved in speaking. Okay, Human brain is also one of the sources of uh, the beginning of the language. So best of luck guys, it's uh, a little tricky topic. I know it is hard and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and I hope I would make it easier for you in the comment section. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.